Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Dorcas Heart Kitchen. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I make my homemade multicolored salsa. This recipe was requested by one of my favorite fans. So I'm going to be going through the step-by-step -step process of how I make this beautiful, delicious salsa. Let's get on to the video. For the ingredients, I do have green and yellow bell pepper, red onion, two medium-sized lime. You can use lemon if that is what you have available and it should work perfectly. Also, I do have three green habanero pepper. If you don't like your salsa too spicy, you can use one or even half of one. That should be okay. Also, I do have two large tomatoes cilantro or coriander, one clove garlic, and cherry tomatoes, red and orange. Also have salt to taste. Going to start by cutting the onions. The onions you want to slice it into half and then cut across it like this.
this in it. When you roll it like so, it releases all the juices and makes it much more good for you to get a lot of juice out of this. As I mentioned earlier, if you have lemon, you can use lemon in this case and it should work okay. I prefer lime because lime normally doesn't have any seed in them and it makes my work easier and I like the acidity that comes through from lime. It's more tangy whereas Lemon gives you the sweet acidity, lime gives you the tanginess and has more acid to it. And this will help preserve the salsa much longer. It is time to mix everything up. I'm going to add some salt to taste. I'm going to add it gradually and taste as I go. And if I need more salt, I'll add to it. Look at this texture and colors. Oh, those look so good. The smell of the cilantro and lime is just amazing. After mixing everything up, let's take a look at this. I had to add an additional lime because when I tasted um, it didn't have that citrusy that I was looking for and just so you know this line shells that I have here I'm not going to throw away I'm going to preserve them and use in my next recipe my um, ultimate immune booster recipe make sure to check it out let's put this into a bottle to store it in the refrigerator Friends, the multicolored salsa is all ready. Just take a look at how beautiful the colors are. I have dished part of it into an airtight bottle that will be saved in the refrigerator for about a week to two weeks. I know for a fact that this will be gone within a week. <laughs> this salsa is so vibrant and the textures are impeccable. Not to brag, but I tasted and it's really good. Y'all need to try it out. I love the fact that I know exactly what went into my salsa. You know, many a times we buy salsa from the store and it's full of mushed up ingredients and the colors are so dull and full of preservatives. But when you follow my step-by-step -step recipe of how to make your own homemade salsa, you will know exactly what you're putting in. Please try this recipe out and leave a comment in the comment section to let me know how your stands out. As you can see, I have served this salsa with some tortilla chips. You can also enjoy this salsa with some rice, baked fish or fried fish, potatoes, eggs, or even use it as a salad dressing. This salsa tastes so yummy and is so delicious. Me and me bill. The food is ready. And you are all invited. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.